We are on the index.html. I've got my gallery.html with not much in it right now, just this navigation that we put in. But my index has a beautiful little flex box on the top that looks like this. It's got home, gallery, and learn more, which goes to a different link, different tab. So let's go to the gallery and get back to Visual Studio Code. And the first thing we need to do is create a folder over here for our images. So I'm going to open up my Flex Practice folder and just place my images folder right in that. You can download these images from Brightspace where I've zipped and packaged the folder. You'll have to unzip it before you pop it in your folder. Don't forget that. So now you can see my images right here. I've got 32 images. I think a couple of them are duplicates, but we won't worry about that for this today's purpose. So I need to create my gallery. And I'm going to do that on the gallery page. And the way I'm going to start is to create a div for them. And I'm going to give this div a class of gallery. And I know you'll remember, oh look, I know you'll remember that classes are addressed with a dot when it's on the style sheet. Close that div. And here is where I want to put all my images. So I'm going to put the first one in, img src equals, and I've named these cleverly, um, i got to get into the folder first. I've named these cleverly image 1 through 32. So I'll choose image 1. Oops. I'll just let the typing happen there. And then I'll add an alt of it so that I can pass the validator. And I'm just going to call this uh, good food because that's what these are pictures of. And then I will copy this many times. And I know I could go all the way up to 32. I don't know how far I'm going. I want to get a lot on here so that you can get a good feel for how this gallery works. Uh, let's change this to a 2. And this one to a 3. And I'll just change a bunch of these until I'm probably going to uh, edit this video and zip through these at some point so that I can have a lot. All right, there's my images. Let's see what it looks like on the gallery page. All right, my images are way too big, so I'm going to need to choose a size for these. And I know that mathematically, if I choose only a width, then the height will become automatic. So I'm going to go to Styles and use my image tag as a selector. And I'll just say width um, 200. And that should, as you can see, it sets it up. Oh, look, there's one image that's not showing. Wonder if I could figure out which one it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It looks like it's image 21. Let's see if I can navigate this. 21. I'll take this one out just to see. Save. Yeah, looks like image 21 is a bad one. All right, so we have some images and look what's happening already. Let's set it up is with our flexing in the next video.